What is up my ninjas? I'm Strident and I am back with a review. This time we are looking at one of my grails. This is the Super RHF Kamen Rider Kaiza and the Side Basher. Um, this figure goes for stupid money online, especially on the secondary market because it's the only transforming side basher that was ever made for this character so far at this, you know, a decent scale. Um, I found this thing for a ridiculously low price and that's why I picked it up. I got stupid lucky and I haven't seen it at that price again. So uh, I think I paid about 40 bucks. 35 to 40 bucks maybe 50 because of shipping but 400 bucks to 50 bucks it's like uh, you know yeah yes please but anyway this is not sh figure arts this is kind of like pre sh figure arts or like you know early sh figure arts and uh it's kind of got a down uh, downgraded kind of style to it as far as the figure goes but when you see the side basher in both modes, it's totally worth it. So let's let's go over all that. So first off, we're going to start with the bike in bike mode. Um, it is screen accurate, which is pretty awesome because, you know, this is one of those things that American companies have lots of problems with and we don't have that problem here. And I think when this came out, it was 20 bucks. So you're getting a lot here. I mean, look at the tamper graph of uh, Smart Brain Motors. It's perfect. Um, the paint application is perfect. I mean, usually bikes are pretty expensive, especially when you're looking at, you know, the uh, six inch scale, and he's almost seven inch scale, but uh, six inch scale figures. So, you know, seeing all this detail, the kind of pearlescent or uh, metallic gold paint all over the place and all the translucent parts just seeing the amount of detailing and the amount of different materials used to get the look that we got you would think this is like a super expensive uh you know vehicle and it's not it well it wasn't when it first came out because essentially this is the kind of vehicle that they want you to play with you know what i mean it's not super fragile it's tough i mean you could drop this thing it'll if it drops off your shelf it's not going to break you know, unless it's on a, like the top of a six foot shelf or something like that, then you got problems. Or if you have no carpet in your room. But anyway, all the details, everything, the freaking uh, 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 manufacturing number or, or vehicle number, uh, all the decals for smart brain, the lights. I mean, these aren't working lights, but I mean, they've painted or given you translucent paint or I mean, translucent, I'm sorry, plastic where lights are supposed to be so you have a very good likeness to what we saw in the tv series um all those years ago um it's strange you know what i mean like looking at this and then realizing that you know it would be impossible for us to get this actually i take that back because it's a japanese thing but it'd be impossible for us to get something like this in the u.s with our own characters i mean look at where's ghost rider's real bike he hasn't had a proper bike since the Nick Cage Ghost Rider when Toy Biz actually made a uh, proper scale bike for him. And that figure goes for over 100 bucks all the time, which is frustrating, you know, because the movie wasn't that great. And it doesn't seem like that many people are big fans of Ghost Rider. But then here we have like a screen accurate bike and uh, they didn't cut corners anywhere and it, it's, it wasn't super expensive you know, from the onset. So I'm, I'm really happy with this. And I think fans of the show will be really happy with it too. Um, the screen accuracy and the details, especially in the transformation, which we'll go into in a little bit, that's a big deal too, because Autovagin was pretty screen accurate too. The SH Figure Arts one that just came out actually surpassed it in the screen accuracy as far as the transformation goes. But I mean, looking at it, it looks like Autovagin. Even the scale of the bike compared to the rider, it looks like Autovagin. Um, I have nothing to complain about when it comes to these two vehicles because I'm a huge Fize fan and I want all the bikes. All I need now is the uh, Jet Slider, if I could find that anywhere um, for a decent price, which once again, that's super expensive too. But anyway, here's the figure that comes with it. It's a Super RHF version of Kaiza. You can see a lot of things that 
you tend to get in like Socha Kenshin figures, which they're the precursor to, they were the precursor to SH figure arts, um, like the jointed hands, you know, that's something we don't get anymore on figures and I, I never liked that, but it fits for this because you want them to just grip onto the bike. Um, but, you know, surprisingly, even though this is a cheaper version of the figure, or of the character, I mean, a lot of good detail is here. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they did a good job recreating a lot of the details. You know, like, if this was all you could find, I'd still be happy. I mean, I know, and you guys know from watching my videos, that there are better uh, uh, versions of the figure, but this is a, a larger figure. Um, he's made out of pretty durable stuff, and he looks the part. I mean, look at him compared to the other versions of Kaiser. He's not super far off this is why i always said that bandai makes the best stuff because they uh they offer all the different scales you know what i mean that's three different scales you're looking at then you look at him in comparison to Fies, and they look like they come from the same world which is pretty awesome you know what i mean it means they they took the time to actually make sure that the details were consistent from character to character now i'm sure delta and saiga and possibly uh, Origo were made in, in this kind of style. But uh, I don't know. I, I like I'm not I, I like it and I'm not annoyed with it. And when you look at him compared to the SH Figure Arts version, you're seeing that there is a level of detail that they maintained in the cheaper Super RHF version, which is pretty cool. I mean, this is what I'm asking for with our own figures, you know? If you collect figures at a different scale, then all our superheroes should be offered at that scale, and there should be no love lost if you decide to move, you know, or you stick with one scale over the other, you know? But yeah, they did good here. Accessories, he doesn't come with that many accessories, but the fact that he even has accessories is freaking awesome. Okay, so the Blay Gun, the uh, Kaiza shot and the uh, Kaiza, uh, bull, I guess that would be a blade gun as well. No, the phone in uh, gun mode. Everything's here. That's the Kaiza shot. It's just like the five shot. It's not, uh, uh, I don't know. It's just not, it's not goofy looking. The phone is a little large, but that was the aesthetic for this, uh, this line in general, because Fize's phone pretty much was the same and uh, same size, same proportions. Uh, but it looks good. Um, you see they actually didn't cop out and not sculpt the very character specific coloring and, uh, or I'm sorry, stripes and uh, memory. They actually put the right one on the right weapon. And uh, there's a little clip that you, that has a peg that sits on the belt. The belt has uh, peg peg holes all over it and it's funny because all the weapons have it including the blade gun which it's kind of weird because in the show the blade comes out of the blade gun at the bottom you can see the peg up top but the blade actually comes out of the bottom of the gun once he inserts the mission memory it does he doesn't actually holster the whole thing with the blade sticking out on his belt you know what I'm saying so they kind of you know weren't super accurate with that but i think this is more for you know kids anyway so the fact that they did get very screen accurate with the bike itself and you know pretty screen accurate with the character himself that's actually a, a huge plus but as you can see there are the pegs um as far as accessory goes accessories go i'm sorry the only thing they left out was the actual uh, uh what is it called the pointer the kaiser pointer he should have had it on his back where I put the knuckle duster or the, the shot. He should have had that on his back so that you can actually put it on into the power anklet, which he also does not have. You can see Fize has it because Fize actually came with a Fize pointer. So he, he can actually attach it down there so he can do his finish. But uh, they didn't do the same thing with Kaiza. So that's kind of strange. I mean, it's just one last piece. It's the binocular looking thing that he uh, usually uses in the show um the sh figure arts one of course had it so you know that's the probably the only point that i can take away from it just outright because they just didn't bother you know but as you can see here that is on the uh, left side 
that's the, or actually it's our right, his left, the uh, shot. I'm sorry, the pointer. Wow. Um, anyway, let's get to the battle mode. So I saved you guys from watching me go through the process of transforming the guy just to show you some simple things because this is kind of an accessory if you think about it. Or you could think of Kaiza as the accessory. But anyway, the sidecar transforms into the legs and it does so exactly the way you see it in the show. It just pops up kind of. And then the main body of the bike swivels you connect the two and you end up with this Ed 209-ish monstrosity. It's freaking amazing, and I'm so happy that they did what they did. I mean, it just, it already was striking as hell, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to go through and show you just a little bit of the, uh, the articulation. I mean, there's swivels kind of at the waist and at the upper portion of the body. It rolls really nicely because there are several wheels. I want to say it's like four wheels on the uh, sidecar. Um, the arms are articulated. The pinchers on the one side and the blasters on the other side move. The arm actually has a bend and a swivel, like a bicep swivel. Um, and all this is hidden perfectly when it's in bike mode. So it's amazing, you know? But everything is here. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they even added the little stirrups so that you can actually put his feet in the back and have them tucked away because these are actually on the vehicle in the show. I mean, this is awesome shit. This is just paying attention so that you can get your audience that little level, that little extra piece of, uh, of detail that they want. You know, you may not even know you want it, but when it's given to you, because you're so interested, you will appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's pretty dope that they went that far. Um, I dig the, uh, the the way the rockets, the, the, the exhaust uh, ports or exhaust pipes turn into rocket launchers. And they're just so well sculpted and well designed. I mean, they don't go crazy with like washes and shit, but they don't need to because you, you, light does that for you. Um, it's just, it's awesome. You know what I mean? It's awesome. This is why this was one of my grails. It's something that I had been wanting for a while from the day I saw it. And it's crazy that like, I'm pretty sure SH Figure Arts will make one and it'll be like a billion dollars. And uh, I'm exaggerating, of course. And uh, it'll it, it'll come out like in a year or two. You know what I'm saying? Which is strange because this is well before SH Figure Arts even started doing this. And this is still like amazing. And as you can see, you probably could put your figure arts Kaiza on this uh, bike. And it's funny because like this also helps reinforce why I'm not a fan of the many of the Heisei riders because they don't really have bikes that actually do anything. There's a few that do, you know, Wizard, um, Kabuto, but, uh, but you know, and, and Fies, obviously, but the rest of them, it's not like this level of in intricacy, you know, this level of, uh, I don't want to say cross-play, but this level of involvement with their bike. I mean, they're called common riders. It should be essential to the design that the bike is, you know, uh, a, a, a definite piece, you know what I'm saying? Like a definite piece of, of the, 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 the whole overall thing, you know? So, uh, also, I meant to tell you earlier, the legs are articulated. So if you prop up the legs differently, the lower and the bottom part, uh, I'm sorry, the lower and upper part, if you kind of like straighten up the lower part and then tilt up the midsection, I guess, you can make this thing look taller. You could actually, if you want to, turn the arms downward. I mean, he wouldn't be able to really look down it if you're being real, you know, OCD and shit, but... You know, it would make it look even bigger if you wanted to. Well, it make it stand even bigger if you wanted to. But it's just, it's quality, man. It's just such quality. And now the bottom line. So, with something this awesome, it's real simple to just be like, go out and buy it. Buy it if you can find it. The problem is, like I said in the beginning of the video, it goes for, oh man, like two to three hundred bucks because this is the only version of the vehicle in this scale. There is an SIC Kiwami Tamashi version, 
and that usually goes for like 30 40 bucks sometimes 50 um, but uh, it's in uh, three and three quarter inch scale or four inch scale so there is a reason for the inflated price because this is a rarity um, you usually find this thing coming out of places like Korea and Thailand and Malaysia and whatnot so un unlike other vehicles and other things kind of similar in the toku world it's not necessarily a bootleg but uh yeah if you have the money and you can plop it down for a figure like this or for something like this then hey go for it but i would suggest uh being patient and searching you know different sites to see if you can find a fortune price uh and if you can then go for it so this has been my review of uh the super rhf kaiza and side basher it's totally worth it go out and buy it especially if you fit the criteria that i mentioned earlier definitely buy it so i'm strident this is my story and i'm sticking to it um i hope you guys dug it thanks for listening thanks for watching and i will catch you on the next review peace outside my ninjas